I usually use super bodies for encapsulating the silicone. I spray two layers and then I check the thickness with a needle. If it's too thin, I spray another layer. Pro Gel 10 is my favorite prosthetic silicone. I will now show you how to measure the silicone without a scale. Draw a line in the same precise position on three cups. Mark the sticks as well so you can reuse them. Measure out two parts of softener into the mixing cup. This is the ratio I use for Pro Gel 10. Mark the mixing sticks with a black dot, it will help with checking the opacity of the silicone. I always mix the flocking first, because in a clear silicone, I can see if I mix it all properly. For this demonstration, I will match my own skin color, so I use olive, gum pink and white. I normally mix pigments only with the softener, and I keep in mind that it will lose 50% of its opacity. When I'm happy with the color, I add one measured part of A and one part of B to the mixture. Fill the mold, scrape off the excess and clean the edges carefully with a Q-tip. When the silicone has dried, spray two more layers of Super Boldies. Let the cup plastic dry and raise it carefully with a needle in different places. Now you glue on the paper frame. I use Prosade or Beta Bond. Use powder as you carefully remove it from the mold. I will use Telesis 8 to glue the prosthetic to my arm. I always mix Telesis with a modifier in a separate cup. Remember to prep the actor's skin. Use alcohol to melt the edges. Next, I color the prosthetic. For this scar, I only use three colors, mauve, light mauve and capillary. Skin Illustrator is very pigmented, so I make colors washy with a lot of alcohol. Finish with mattifier and voila, the scar is done!